morning guys well it's raining today Blech. <laughs> but that's part of spring too um today i've got a couple dogs to do and i was going to uh take a few loads of the wood back because we didn't get that done the other day you know oh but i probably won't be doing that but i then i can clean my walls in here maybe because <laughs> I also didn't get that done you know I keep saying like I feel like time is shorter than it used to be or something so I just can't get as much done in the day but I'm going to plan on get doing the dogs and then um, cleaning all the walls and the floorboards in my front room there so Wish me luck. Got our friend little Miss Coco here today. She is one of my favorites. She's such a sweet little thing. Huh? Coco! Coco! Who's a good girl? She's too busy sniffing right now. Oh, I can't wait to get this place cleaned and fixed up. It's very, um... Just like kind of dingy in here and I can't wait. My tub is actually coming tomorrow so and then so I work this week and then next week I have like four days off to um, get this all set up. There's little Miss Coco. There she is. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. Sorry I wasn't even She's a cute little doggy. Yeah. For, um, do you, any of you who groom or have your own dogs that are white that get that gunk in their eyes, the brown stains, how do you guys get rid of it? She's got it really bad. Now this is Snoopy. <laughs> He's one of our puppies, and he doesn't want to talk to me. Every time he comes, he gets in the, um, this thing. What's it called? Window well. He's so silly, because he really likes me, and he's so excited to see me. But then, I don't know. He just has a lot of anxiety. He's a scared little boy, huh? So, okay. So, I don't know if you can really see how Snoopy looks. But... We're going to give him a haircut. There's the Snoopster all done. He's very handsome, huh, Snoopy Whoopy? Yes, you look so cute in that bandana, huh? That's a very good color on you. Yeah. Done. Done with dogs today. Now I'm going to... I'm just going to sit here for a second. If I sit here too long, then I won't do what I set out to do today, which is clean the walls in this room and the floorboards. I haven't done it for a very long time and it's probably going to be a different color but probably won't be able to notice it so much today because it's very gloomy. I didn't want my walls to be clean and then have these leaves be all dirty so I've cleaned and I can't take them outside because it's not warm and it's pouring rain they'd probably love it but that would make a huge mess so I'm cleaning it with my milk that I do I've done the peace lily and now I'm gonna do these guys I'll show you a like okay here's the before of this one and we'll see if we can see a difference. 
There's the after. It's kind of dark today, but I think you can it looks more shiny. Okay, now I'm going to do this one. Look how dusty it is. Before. Check out this one. So I've only done these leaves. And I haven't done any of the other ones yet. Ah, really makes it look so much better. Sure is, takes a long time and is a pain in the butt though. <laughs> If he's making our dogs a boiled egg. Are you guys excited? I don't know if you want to see a before and after on every plant, but that one's really dirty. I just cleaned off the Peperomia acuminata variegata, and you see this branch that's like bald and then has the leaves on the bottom. I'm just gonna cut it off right here. Sort of makes me want to throw up, but I'm gonna do it. And then hopefully that will make this branch out, and then we'll get another plant that we can stick in here, and that will be lovely. And then I'm just gonna take this one and put it up here in this little propagation station with this other peperomia looks like I need to put some water in there but okay wish the little feller luck two walls done I got this one all done looks nice and this one and all the plants are cleaned on the I haven't done this area yet. I think I'm going to do it separately because when I do this one I'm going to clean out the aquarium and everything so yeah okay so I just have this wall and this wall to do it feels so good in here all the walls are clean all the plants are clean look at that shiny little bugger they look good. Look at them shiny little buggers. And that shiny little bugger. I didn't do this section. But all the other plants are clean except for the micans. I didn't do that one because that's the trouble with letting it attach itself to the wall. Yeah, one day I'll have to get up here and clean all the leaves with the milk like I do. I don't know. Probably not milk on this one because it's sort of um, fuzzy. also did a swap for the triangularis. It was down there and it was always getting bumped because it pokes out. So I put it up here. I really like this plant and I would like it to grow better so hopefully it likes it there ficus can be kind of picky about getting moved so hopefully there's no tantrums and the jade plant fits better there but I don't know if it's gonna like the light so we'll see what happens we'll keep our eye on them guys so I'm about to get in the shower um, but I just wanted to tell you like me and my girls are planning to go get a tattoo on the 25th of this month um, just I'm probably just gonna get a little one but it's of my mom's cookie jar and that's her one year anniversary of when she passed on and I don't know it all worked out I guess we all can't go because Ellie can't go that day and I'm gonna miss her because she has to go to work but there was I felt a little bit of stress because yeah, um, I don't know. I, I don't want to go into too many details, but just because we all couldn't go and I didn't want anyone to feel bad. But anyway, I think everything's good now. And so, so that's good. And I got that room cleaned. I cleaned all the plants and I cleaned all the walls and all the floorboards and the floor. And it smells so good in there. It feels good. 
and like taking out those rugs, which I don't take out very often. I just vacuum over top of them, you know, but like taking them out and just cleaning out everything really good. It feels so good. Hopefully that will inspire me to get going on my other stuff. And so it's been a good day tomorrow. My new tub is coming. I'm excited about that and I screwed up on my my schedule again like someone texted me and said I always send out a reminder text the day before and someone sent me a text and said are we still on for tomorrow someone who has two dogs so I had two dogs scheduled and then um, they had two dogs and I'm the one who screwed up because I didn't have their names written down in my book at all and so oh, so I have four dogs tomorrow <laughs> and the tub's getting delivered so um, Rich will be home to help with that because it's like a really heavy like stainless steel big big thing and it comes in a big wooden crate and so yeah, he's just going to be here to help me with that. He didn't mind taking the day off at all. <laughs> so I'm really, really, really excited about that. And um, once I get it, if it, you know, if I'm as happy with it as as I think I will be, then um, I'm going to go ahead and order the uh, grooming table too. So Oh, okay guys, um, I'm going to do that, a drawing for that, uh, those cuttings that I told you about, and I was thinking maybe we could just do like a Q&A that day, so if you have any cues, let, just put them in the comments, and then, um, I'll do, I'll answer them, and do the giveaway for the Cuttings. So I hope you guys have a good night and I will see you tomorrow.